I've got a fondness for carving lizards and little mammals and, and I like doing small carvings that I can carry around with me and work on whenever I'm having a cup of coffee. And pretty well all of the bone carvings have lived in my pocket for a month or two while I'm working on them. I managed to get about, in two years I get about 20 of those small carvings done. And just carrying them around and doing a bit here and And over the year, from the 9th of March when I came home, I've managed to do 31 wood carvings because I've just finished this one. So, so this little piece of wood running through here is an extra bit of strengthening so that when I make the rubber mould of it to do the bronzes that that'll help support them while I pull the mould apart because there's a fair bit of stress on it. I have broken a couple when I pull the mould apart and that's why this one has got these extra little buttresses and this here because this one's right off the base. So it's not only difficult to make a mould of, it's also difficult to cast. And my founder was complaining bitterly about what I'm putting in through me. <laughs> I used to worry about that a lot more, and I used to modify what I was carving so that it would be easier to cast. But now I just want to make what I want to make and I'll just make the rest work as best we can. And because one of the prey items of this little beastie, a knob-tailed gecko, is a centipede, we're going to have that moment <laughs> when the people turn them over. I often don't do any drawing at all on a piece when I'm carving it. So long as I've got a very clear picture in my head of what it's going to be, I don't need to draw it. But if it's a piece that I haven't carved before, then I'll just work out where the centre line is and measure all the arms and bits and bobs. If I know what I'm doing, I don't need to draw it. Yeah, video is the best. And I can see how they move. And I find that aha moment. Going, yep, I've got you now. I've always had a love of things you find under logs and rocks. And I guess from when I was a little kid, I used to do that a lot. Occasionally, you'd have the... <laughs> I've learned to pick up rocks towards me and grab things. But if it's... <laughs> That's my life story, basically. I found something I've loved doing from when I was a kid, and I've managed to be able to keep doing it all my life. And truly, without 100% support from the wife and the kids, it just wouldn't work. <laughs>